uh, it, it is important that whenever you get this, you have to validate your theories, okay? And, I mean, val val validation means, uh, I mean, several things. Uh, at some point, you have to, to validate your statistics are, are okay, of course. And at other point, you have to, to, to make sure that what you are doing has something to do with the flow, not something to do with your experiment. Not, not only, I mean, something to do with your experiment, okay? And this way of doing that is, I mean, for example, you, I mean, something that we have found up, up, up to now is that when you look at pieces of the flow which are important for the flow, they look like these templates, either a vortex or a, or a dipole, depending on which experiment are, are you doing. Uh, you want to, to test the converse. Whenever you see that it's a vortex or a dipole, are they important or not, okay? And uh, what I have been showing to you now is these statistics for the most relevant sets, okay? These things which are more relevant and they look the error between the template and the, and, and the flow is not very large, okay? So this is okay. Now, you, you do the same thing for all the, for, I mean, for all the pieces of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the flow. And then discover that this, yes, is true. I mean, when the thing doesn't look like a template, this error between the template and the, and, and the flow is large, then the thing is not relevant. Whenever you have something that looks like a template, this thing is, is relevant. Of course, I mean, this has a, a width. I mean, this is, I mean, all these experiments are, I mean, are, are basically uh, Bayesian physics. I mean, you are, you are looking at what is more probable when you do this. I mean, it's not, it's not a rule. It's, a, it's an, a statistical rule. Almost everything in turbulence, you, you end up with a statistical rule. Okay? And the, the, this is true for the, for, the, for the vortices, in the case in which vortices are important. This is true for the dipoles, in the case with the dipoles are important. The important thing is these black things in here. The red part is what happens for the most relevant thing. I mean, you are just seeing the the, the tip of that uh, PDF there. Okay. Uh, of course, then, then, then you have to do the basic, uh, the basic uh, test that uh, you are not doing artifacts, okay? Or a basic test that always has to be done. You, are, you have to test uh, against your training set. It, you have, I mean, to make the difference between testing against your training set, testing out of your training set, and uh, these are these two lines here, the, the thing which is solid are for things which are being tested against the training set. The things which are, which are dash are things which are being tested outside of the, the training set and you see that they agree. So in this case, uh, things are okay, okay? Uh, what else, okay? We have a theory. We have the computer making some questions. I don't know whether they're interesting or not, but these are all the questions that <sighs> That I, I, I made the computer look at them, okay? Uh, I tried to be stupid. I tried to be as stupid as possible, which is not hard, okay? I tried, I tried not to, to tell the computer what to look at. I just said, okay, well, do this, do that, do that, do that, okay? And then let the, the, the computer classify the, the, the output by itself, okay? I was trying to not guide the computer too much because I, I, I know a lot about the, the physics of this, of, of, of this flow. But I, I try not to put that knowledge into, into the computer. And the computer came out with this, this, these two pieces of, of, uh, of ideas. You either have vortices which are important or have dipoles which are important, okay? And then the question is, well, do you really see vortices and dipoles in the, in the, in the, in, in the flow? Actually, not really. I mean, this is a, this is a, Platonic turbulence, okay? This is the platonic idea of what is in the, in the flow, but you don't see round vortices where you see things like that, okay? And actually, you can see that because this, this, this axis that I had there in the, in, the previous, in, the, in the previous slide is the magnitude of the error between, or the difference between the template and the, and the actual flow divided by the magnitude of the template is the percentage error or the fractional error with respect to the template. And you, you see that these things are quite high, are of the order of one. The error is of the same order as the as the as the as the, 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 the template. Actually the two things which are unrelated will be of the order of a square root of, of, of a square root of two. So it will be here. So the, but still this this thing uh, this thing is large. And you look at the flow and it's true. I mean there is very few things that look like a like, like a round thing in there. Okay. But still 
I mean, I say, well, now that I know, or that I think that I know that vortices are important, are diapers are important, can I go at the, at, 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 at the flow and look at how many vortices do I have, how many dipoles do I have, how many pairs do, do, do I have? So, I mean, what you take is, you, you take the flow, segment it in some way, I mean, there are, you, you find some way, some reasonable way of segmenting it into positive and negative regions of vorticity, okay, not vortices, but regions of, 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 of uh, vorticity, you will things like that, okay, and then decide, okay, well, these things will, will have something nearby, and uh, let's try to make dipoles to see whether they're dipoles or not. Uh, for, to, to do that, you sit in a vortex here, find another vortex of roughly the same size, I mean, it will not make sense to try to, 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 to pair this little vortex to that, to that big one, but yes, maybe this one with that one. I see whether the closest one is something of the same sign or, or, or of a different sign, okay? And then you, you create a bunch of uh, possible pairings of the, of the, of the uh, vorticity, and you find out that actually most of the vortices are forming dipoles, okay? from something that look like dipoles. I mean, so the, that did this, this discovery, I mean, this basically this unexpected result of the computer, it actually found something that was there, okay? So, this is as far as the experiment goes. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be speaking too much about this, this experiment and, and anymore. What I'm, uh, I'm going to try to do now is analyze what have we done, okay? What, what has happened here, okay? How much, uh, how, 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 how true is it that we have convinced the computer to think or not, okay? So, there are several questions, okay? One thing is how expensive it is, okay? Can we do this for a flow that is not two-dimensional turbulence, that flow that is really an, an interesting flow? The, question, the other question is, have we discovered something about turbulence, okay? Have we really discovered something and something new? And then, have we discovered something about the uh, data processing? Okay. The first thing, cost. I mean, as I told you, this is not very expensive. I mean, uh, you, you have seen basically two million simulations of two-dimensional turbulence in 256 square, each of them in a old processor of, the, of one of the classes that I have in my basement takes 10 seconds. That means that this basically is 200 processors a day, okay? 200 processors a day, each node has uh, 12 processors, so this is basically 20 processors, 20 node days, that means it is a week, okay? The total computer time spent in this is something like a week, okay? The actual clock time, I mean, which is the time it took me and the group I was, I was talking to, uh, to do this is something like a year, but most of the year was spent talking about what to do, okay? This is it, it's one of the things that you have to learn more, but then doing the thing is, is free, basically, okay? Um, now the question is, can you do this for some, I mean, for, for a more in, in, inter, in interesting flow? Something that we are doing now, I mean, this is just not being done by me anymore, it's done by a postdoc, okay? And uh, she's doing a uh, 3D turbulence in 256 cube, okay? This, or, this begins to be something I mean, I, I thought I knew the answer for 2D turbulence. I, I don't know the answer for, for, uh, for, for 3D turbulence. I don't know what is important. What do we have to change in 3D turbulence so that the turbulence changes, okay? I don't know for how long I have to wait. The data is that now have to be found, okay? Uh, this is not 10 seconds, but in a GPU, it's like uh, two minutes, okay? It's, it's actually less than two minutes. This is what it takes. I mean, the GPU that we have, are titans, and uh, you put this in a, in, this will uh, fit in a single card, and it will run in, in like, like uh, two minutes. And you probably have to run as, as many simulations as, uh, as, uh, as uh, before, maybe a little less, because now we know better what to do, okay? And that is going to take, actually, most of this has been, has run already, like a hundred cluster days, okay? Uh, assuming that the cluster has eight, eight, eight GPUs, which is what it has, my particular cluster, no? Okay, so the, this is still is something that that can be done. I mean, it's, it's not impossible. These are the, the, sort, the sort of things that can already be done in a, in a small lab like mine. It's not like a, like a big company. It's not like, a, like DLR or something like that. It's, 
this is something that can be done at home, okay? Uh, later, I will show you an, an, an example with a channel, which has already been done also, okay? I don't know how, how long it will take us to think about it, but it would probably be, but it better be less than, than one year because she has to leave, okay? But now, so this is the cost. The cost is, okay, how we learn anything? I mean, after, after all, these, all, all these things, I mean, how you learn uh, something about turbulence? Really not much, and the, 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 the reason that we didn't learn too much is because I think there was not much to learn. I mean, it, I on purpose chose a problem in which I knew the answer because I wanted to look at the answer of the computer and check whether the computer had made some terrible mistake or not, okay? So not, not really nothing new, but the dipoles were almost new. I mean, when I saw the dipoles, actually, uh, at the beginning I told you I, there was a, something there where, which, which papers are, are written on this. And on the first two papers, I missed the dipoles completely. I was not expecting dipoles. I was expecting vortices, and I found the, 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 the vortices. It was only after letting the computer play a little more that the dipoles, the, the dipoles, the, the, the dipoles came up. So it was, that, that basically, the, the, there was a computer discovery, okay? It was not a completely new discovery because, I, as I told you, dipoles were known, okay? But they were never considered to be important, okay? Something that the relevance of the dipoles to two-dimensional turbulence is something that came out of this of, of this uh, of, of this exercise. Okay, and then something that I think is very important is for one of the of the first time in turbulence that I can remember, we are really looking at causes. I mean, not correlation, but causes, causation. We are really saying when I do this, this is going to happen. Okay. There's a difference between, as we all know from, from uh, detective movies, correlation is not causation, okay? Uh, causation, uh, correlation is when I see something happening, I tell you when this thing happens, this is going to happen. Uh, causation is if this happens, this is going to happen. It's different. I mean, co correlation is something that has been there, uh, the, the typical example of correlation, which is, has nothing to do with cause and effect, is day and night. I mean, the days are correlated with nights. You, you see a day, two, two, two hours later there is a night, but has not, I mean, certainly by changing the day, you are not going to change the night. I mean, yeah, by putting a, a parasol, you are not going to change the, 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 the night later. Okay, this is a, a correlation thing that happened. Another thing that that, uh, that you are pro I mean, probably very used to is uh, LES modeling. LES models is you somehow have decided that whenever you see a rate of strain, a rate of strain tensor, which is S, okay, then the, 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 the stress tensor is, can be approximated by that formula there. It doesn't tell you that this is the source of that. It just tells you that there is a, a correlation between one and the other. Okay? Structures, all the all the things that I was showing you the the the, the first day. I tell you, when you see something something like this, this is a burst that contains rainless stresses. I'm not really saying that that burst is the cause of the rainless stresses. I'm more or less saying that that burst is the container of the, the rainless stresses. When you have seen you when you have one, you have the other, but that's not the cause. Okay, correlation is actually has nothing to do with with a uh, with physics, in a sense. Correlation is the science of prediction. I mean, you know, you see this happening, you say, well, this is prob I mean, probably going to happen, but you don't know why, okay? If you remember this distinction between symbolic and sub-symbolic intelligence, uh, correlation is basically sub-symbolic. It's what happens when you, when you do a, a linear fit. You, you pass a linear fit, okay? Or, or a non-linear fit or a um, complicated theory, but you're just describing the world, okay? And you're using that to predict something. Causes are different, okay? Causes are, are uh, you're really saying, if this thing happens, this is going to happen, okay? If this thing doesn't happen, probably this thing will not happen or it will happen differently, okay? This, this is something that implies, implies uh, a flow of uh, probability from one place to the other, okay? And it, that, it, it depends on time. And that, that is very important to realize because otherwise, you get lost into all sorts of, of chicken and egg arguments, okay, which is the, the, the cost of the chicken, okay? Something like that. Well, the cost of the chicken 
probably makes no sense. The cost of the chicken depends on which time you're looking at. The cost of the chicken over 20 days is the egg. The cost of the chicken over 40 days is another chicken. Okay? And then there is nothing wrong with that. I mean, it just, the, the way it's a, it's a description of what, of what happens is really a cost. There is, it doesn't make sense. This other question, which is the, the ultimate cost, that question probably makes no sense. Okay? It's a meaningless question. There is no cost at infinity, okay? There is no ultimate cost. There is, I mean, if you're, if you're interested in these things, there is a, a very nice essay by, Bert, by Bertrand Russell that you can find in the internet because it's an ab absurd uh, journal or something in 1912, discussing what are, which is the meaning of causation, which at that time was involved with the idea of God and all sorts of unholy things that you don't want to enter, okay? But the, the, the idea is that, I mean, there is no there is no, it, it doesn't make sense to speak about causes in absolute, but it makes sense to speak about causes with a particular time, uh, uh, I mean, time horizon, okay? You decide, okay, I want to know what happens uh, at turnover, uh, I mean, before now, and then there is a cause for that, okay? For example, I mean, in this case, this particular cell here was the cause of that, okay? Uh, after a time which was, uh, five turnovers, okay? And uh, we had to try whether it was one turnover or five. We really tried, we re re really made a long simulations and essentially look at when this thing got lost and it got lost. I mean, the, the time it, it takes for the, the effect of the causes in something like turbulence has to do with the Lyapunov exponent. I mean, when the, you, you are much longer than the inverse of your, uh, of your uh, large scale Lyapunov exponent, the thing stops making sense. But there is a time in which there are causes and which are, 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 are effect. In the, in the same way that correlation with the science of, of a description or the, the, the science of prediction, the causation is the science of control. If you want to control something, you really want to know the cause. Okay? So this is something that can be done. I mean, the computer has been able to do that. Okay? Uh, essentially, you say, okay, all of these three things uh, I mean, have been doing well. We have, I mean, several of these things have been filled by the the, the 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 computer. The first one is the questions. I don't know how to make a computer make intelligent questions, but this computer was able to make questions. Okay, the thing is that because it's, it's cheap and it can make many questions, you can let the computer make many stupid questions on the hope that some of them make sense. Okay, but it's something that can be done already. Okay, so this is this this part. We can. Uh, more or less outsource to, 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 to the computer. We can move ourselves out of that picture. Probably not completely, but in principle we could. Okay? Uh, we can also try to uh, make the computer look for the, for the hypothesis. Basically, that is a classification problem. Okay? You do the experiments, you ask many questions, you see the answers. I say, okay, and now, 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 now you say, okay, well, put those answers together into a, into a corpus, okay? That is a classification problem, okay? okay? And that can also be done by the, by the computer. In this case, it was done at this stage, okay? This is the, the computer theory. The computer theory was, uh, say, well, for this particular experiment, this explains uh, the, what, 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 what has happened. There's another stage of this, which is, okay, well, now the computer knows this, please explain it to us, okay? And these were the, the templates in there. This is a very important, a very important part of this process. I mean, this is the process in which you go from sub-symbolic to symbolic. This is the process in which you go from the computer learns to now you learn. Okay. 